Hi Taurus, how you doing? Hope you all well. Smash that like button, all right? Make Taurus popular. Hopefully make it for June to be in the top eight, okay? Top six to eight. I'm aiming for that every week. Um, this week I'm definitely trying to get through all 12 signs, for sure, for sure. I almost didn't make it last week. <laughs> so, and this counts for any week that I do all 12 signs. So whatever placements you're following, all right, even if you're cross-watching, okay? Um, I'm just getting a sense of which ones people need the most at the moment. So I already pre-pulled. You got good things. This is pretty simple. I don't think it's going to take very long. This is nice. I like it. Uh, pre-pulled your Kali Oracle for the end there. We got this new deck. I'm excited to see what it says. All right. I haven't even cracked it open too much. The first card that came out is property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. So this could have happened already. Um, this could have been to assist in a situation. I definitely got that vibe with this, okay? First card out to clarify. It's not that one. It's this one. <laughs> it is Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra, or this could just be justice for you, okay? Love, balanced, indecisive. Sweet, peaceful, diplomatic, graceful partnerships, aesthetics, truth, and charm. So there could have been something where you helped somebody get something, okay, with the purchase of some kind, okay? Maybe there had been some worries about it with this individual, okay? The next one you had was Saturn Return, paying your dues, wake up call, time to grow up, clearing the past, facing truth, aging, and step down. Now that could be the indication that this person is just an older energy, but I really got a sense that this was paying dues. So whoever borrowed is paying back, okay? And that definitely comes up here, all right? So this might describe the situation a little bit, all right? Key, Al successful outcome to your problems. <clears throat> Lobster, financial pinch, that could have been them, or put you in that, and plenty of material things. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Throat tickle, so there might have been some uh, communication issues, okay? This could have been um, something having to do with a material thing, okay, that caused a financial pinch. To identify this person or situation, you had the Ace of Wands. I got a sense of uh, emergency or um, impulsiveness or recklessness with this. It did want to come up in the reverse. So that's also fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And Leo also did get this card as well, so you might want to check out that reading. There may be some more tidbits there, okay? Could be just confirmation for you. With regard to the individual with the other in the transaction, you had Boomer and Cousin pop out, okay? So this could be a cousin that happens to be of the boom, boom generation, baby boom generation, or this could be a cousin of a Boomer <laughs> that you know, or a someone that's a boomer of your that knows your cousin. Okay, so take care of resonates. All right. We also had to clarify. You're gonna get communication. Okay, I'm gonna stick that there. From Libra. Okay, and per Capricorn came out with regards to this. So I was like, okay, um, is this a person? Is this? A literal goat is this what is this is this some sort of addiction problem you know maybe they had overspend they had to sell their things to re-up I mean what is, what is this because you know Capricorn devil energy right um, maybe it's something about overspending could be materialism something like that okay purchase and waterworks came up um, now when I see this card it could be something that just uh, Got somebody really worried, you know, and emotional. Um, but it could also literally be something broke. Like they had a plumbing problem that they had to invest something into. And it could literally be maybe related to a washing machine, okay? <laughs> or something for the house, right? There's no car. You know, we do have an old hoofty um, card here in this deck as well. There's a couple others that could kind of give you an idea of what tangible thing it might be but um, this is definitely something homey oriented okay uh, that broke down okay or um, needed to be replaced or 
it could be something that just was a major investment that caused a lot of emotional issues, okay? It could literally be an addiction or something like on the devil card, okay? So take the how it resonates, all right? Further clarification as to what happened. We have the number eight, false person, high honors, 25 breaks down to seven, and his thoughts, 16 breaks down to seven as well. And immediately... Um, what came up with this was that clearly this is like, you know, made a bad decision. Hindsight is 2020 kind of made a mistake on something. It cost them money. They put them in a financial pinch and needed to borrow from you. Okay. <laughs> or maybe needed to borrow your property or however this, whatever the situation is. Okay. Definitely hindsight 2020 here. Like, oops, mistake. My bad. That's immediately what popped up when I saw these three cards together. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you make a mistake. That's the lying, cheating, stealing, being an authentic card, right? Like just kind of like something being taken, right? Then you have some recognition here and then thoughts. <laughs> sort of like, you know, this should have like not been here. <laughs> this should have been here first, right? But no, it was the other way around, okay? So I'm like, all right, well, what guidance could Taurus get from this, right? What do you need to know about this situation? Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. It could be a timing as well, if that applies to this situation somehow. If you're still waiting on it, okay, just know that Sagittarius season, it might pop up, okay? That is November-ish, <laughs> possibly part of December. <clears throat> you also had new moon, okay? And, and make it so it could literally be the new moon in Sagittarius, like whenever that is, okay? That exact date. A new start is coming, okay? What else to know regarding this situation? Wait, how you should respond or what you need to worry about? Inner knowing. You'll know what to do about this, okay? <laughs> Spirit says, you got it. <laughs> Miracles, all about the blessing coming in, okay? Uh, for being patient or just waiting for your what's come and due, okay? And memories. So this is definitely something from the past. <laughs> you know, maybe reflect on it and see what you can learn from it. Maybe that's also what this card talks about as well. You also have number nine here. Express yourself creatively. Start something new. So maybe I was like, well, what can Taurus do with this come up? This return back kind of situation. Maybe it's something you hadn't expected to come back, right? So it would be a little bit of a blessing, right? Like you'd have maybe some actual money if it's, you know, money they borrowed, right? Uh, what to do with it. So express yourself creatively, start something new. What creative pursuit do you feel drawn to? Okay. You know what to do. You have inner knowing, use your intuition. I also pulled from our life purpose Oracle just to see what this may be more specifically. Justice. This is all about you earning justice in a situation. Okay. And travel. Okay, might be something that could be uh, focused on as well. That doesn't have to be long distance. That could be, you know, a vacation or doing something that, you know, a road trip for some sort of creative purpose. Okay. You also have hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends, number 10. So that could be like something you could do with new friends. Okay. Maybe it's an activity of sorts. And then pulled from animals. Okay. To see what. Signs or synchronicities might be important at this time for you. The pig showed up. Tenacious, steadfast, bold, independent, bringer of luck, prosperity, wealth, feast and celebrate in gratitude. Prolific creation, a time of great fertility. That's also about just birthing new ideas, right? So this could just be more inspirational. You can use this money to go someplace new, meet new friends, and have new experiences, right? Make new memories, you know. Um, and then you might actually get some ideas for whatever you can do creatively that you've been thinking about uh, or feeling drawn to do, okay? You also have the dragonfly here too, inhabiting two worlds at once, air and water, day and night, multidimensional travelers bringing healing and light, protectors of the realm, lifting the veil of consciousness, so really just seeing things, okay? Um, also talks about travel, <laughs> again, <laughs> although multidimensional, but it could very well be a spiritual experience, you know, 
going out there and having a vision quest or something, right? <laughs> From Kali, your final guidance. Number 23, Bhagalamukhi. All right. So she says, burning golden light of divine protection, she rests the flow of negativity, particularly that of her own making. She is divine intervention and sacred activity. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which creates true happiness and bliss for ourselves and all beings. As you seek refuge, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any form of negativity from others. Okay, so maybe that could be an identifier that this person was kind of a gossip. Okay, <laughs> and maybe it got them into trouble. <laughs> All right, a positive turning of the tide of fortune is predicted. It's a basically confirmation. I love it. Just know that you're protected from anything negative. All right, there you go, Taurus. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.